is a report of Sella. I'm using a, a 20x Nikon Plan Apo right now. Uh, and a uh, Nikon Fluofot flip top condenser. The big green thing and black thing there up the top corner is a uh, piece of duckweed. And the sample itself came from a, uh, a small uh, pond. Uh, not a regular pond. It comes and goes depending on the rain. It's a low spot in the woods. Filled with leaves and then uh, water when it rains for several days. Or whenever the river comes up. And now we're at 40x using a uh, Nikon 40x Plan Acromat bright field lens. And uh, uh, look at the uh, the rim around the bell. Does it look like a coil where the bottom starts there? The bottom edge starts and then coils around and goes up like a screwing a screw thread. They all look this way. And if you watch, uh, you'll see you can't see the uh, particles being taken in so much, but uh, you'll see food vacuoles forming on the right side bottom. Here's another one. And here's another one, the third one. Now look to the right side, the bottom there. You see that light colored uh, bubble in there? That's a food vacuole. And uh, the, there, see there's a, a piece of food just went into it from the gullet. Uh, the cilia around the ring there at the bottom keep the current going and suck in the small particles which go into these food vacuoles and when it gets about the right size full of the right amount now watch see it breaks off now see it breaks off and moves up to the to the other end of the vorticella and now a new one's starting see a new food vacuole is forming where that one was and then it goes around and there's one over on the left side coming to the uh, lower edge of the body there just above the ring just above the cilia ring now that's one that's uh, been in the system for a while and already digested most of the stuff and then if you look right below that you'll see another vacuole that looks flattened and empty uh, what they do is they move up to that point. There, see, it just kicked out a little bit of stuff that was in it. Waste, leftover stuff that didn't get digested. There's another food vacuole going in. The other one's whipping around, coming down to the bottom. That empty food vacuole is uh, being absorbed. There, she's kicking stuff out. 
a new food vacuole is about ready to form and move away from the mouth. And the new one. Now this is the first time I've caught this, so I'm excited. Uh, I guess the stuff towards the center, the smaller things there must be a uh, nuclei, macronuclei maybe. Other organelles that I don't know the name of. And once again, I missed the opportunity. I should have had the uh, phase contrast condenser in place so I could use uh, oblique lighting on this but still I'm liking the quality I see here there's another food vacuole and she's kicking stuff out there's a big clump. And there she goes, a big clump. It's mesmerizing to watch these things. Ah, is that the uh, macro or uh, macronucleus there at the bottom? At the top, it's curved like a banana along the bottom of the body. I read that's their shape. Uh, it's out of focus now. And there it is again. Kind of a greenish color here. Which uh, comes from the Acromat lens.
There's another one. See the uh, the ring around the opening. It looks like a screw thread. It looks like a coil. And that's about the end of that.